Welcome back to PNC Live. The Justice Department announced today a new initiative to fight lending discrimination and modern day redlining. BNC's Ariana Manis has more from Washington. Ariana? Tashani, redlining and loan discrimination in the housing industry has historically negatively impact black and brown families. That's why the DOJ say they're taking these steps in an effort to close the racial wealth gap between white families and in communities of color. Now, Attorney General Merrick Garland, he said today that lending discrimination as well as redlining is alive and well practices that date back to the 1960s. The Combating Redlining Initiative will analyze several factors to determine whether a lender has engaged in redlining, such as statistical analysis on loan data, as well as comparing the lender's rate of applications and loans in minority neighborhoods to the lending of banks in those same areas. Now, home ownership rates are a major cause of wealth disparity in our country, according to the DOJ. Now, they also pointed to a very alarming data of why this is such a pressing issue. Get this, the medium wealth of black families can, are, is roughly stands at $24,000 when compared to $188,000, that medium wealth gap of white families. Take a listen. Redlining is alive and well, and it has had a lasting negative impact. For American families, home ownership remains the principal means of building wealth. Deprivation of investment in and denial of access to mortgage lending services has contributed to families of color persistently lagging behind in home ownership rates and net worth compared to white families. As the Attorney General said, the home ownership gap between white and black families is larger today than it was in 1960, before the passage of the Fair Housing Act of 1968. Now, the Consumer Protection Federal Bureau, they'll also be launching an investigation into modern day redlining, which can be found in algorithms. Now, they presented data where they analyzed 2 million housing applications, and they found that 80% of black families, their loan applications were denied when compared to white families with the same financial as well as credit background. The DOJ today, they also announced a settlement with the trust bank that found that they were discriminating and black and brown, as well as Hispanic communities in Memphis. They announced a very large settlement. They also said they plan to look into a number of probes, and as they continue to increase their Fair Housing Authority, we can expect more investigations to follow. Back to you, Tashani. Ariana, thank you for that report.